Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Humans of Pesto. Today we have Suraj, who is a Pesto alum. Suraj, welcome, welcome to Humans of Pesto. So happy to have you here. So let's let's get right into it. Tell us a little bit more about who you are and where you come from and what you're doing. So when I was in school, I knew I like technology and I'll do my career in uh, computers. I did not know what coding is, uh, how to do it, why to do, but I knew I'll be going in this field. So after I finished my school in 11th, 12th standard, uh, I chose one subject uh, that was computer science along with uh, physics, chemistry, maths. And uh, that's uh, uh, when I got into coding. So I decided to do BSc computer science. Uh, fees were reasonable and uh, syllabus were same for engineering and BSc computer science. Got it, got it, got it. In I think last semester, uh, there was a COVID. Uh, due to which we got a six month or nine months break. In that free period, I started learning uh, full stack development. And then I got into an internship. I also started Pesto, uh, I think after continuing the internship for uh, a year. I think during that week, I got to know I had to lead a project. I knew that was going to be very difficult to manage both. With Pesto, uh, there was a structured way of every uh, aspect of full stack and that was actually very important okay. and pesto had uh, soft skill sessions there was uh, a relevant very relevant topic key how you do the uh, task delegation how to decide priorities and uh, that wa- that was uh, uh, helpful for me uh, there was one phase uh, project building so where we had to uh, build a project and before building a project we have to uh, create a UI UX uh, uh, design for that particular uh, project the time period for that was two weeks okay mentor was very helpful to again uh, push it's not uh, much difficult so it was a compiler uh, online compiler kind of thing okay so a student could submit a code and then the app would compile the code and uh, run it against the test cases. So it would be, it would get easier for a teacher uh, to evaluate their assignments. Oh, got it. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Suraj, for coming on Humans of Pesto. It was lovely chatting with you. Yes. And uh, hope you had a fun time chatting as well. And I'm sure our viewers will really enjoy listening to your journey and where you've, where you've come and where you're, where you've reached. Thanks for having me. It was fun.